Let's analyze the types of data in a data set. Problem number one. We have data collected from people 10 years after they started paying their student loan. In this data, we have a person ID for reference, an initial loan amount, the family socioeconomic status of the person when they started their loan, the percent of the loan that they have paid back now 10 years later, current yearly earnings, the amount of money they now earn 10 years after they have started paying their loan, and the last column is their recommendation, whether they would or would not recommend another person getting a student loan. Step 1. Determine the variable type for each column of data. Starting with the initial loan amount, this is a quantitative variable because these are an amount and not a group. In the next column, we have the family socioeconomic status, 0 meaning low, 1 meaning middle, and 2 meaning high. The values in here are numbers, however these numbers are representing these groups, low, middle, and high. So this data is categorical because these numbers are representing groups. The next column is the percent of loan that they have paid back. These percentages are representing the amount out of 100 that they have paid back. This is quantitative data. The next column is current yearly earnings, how much money this person is earning right now. This is an amount of money again, and this is a quantitative variable. The last column is the recommendation, and the two options are either 0, meaning that they recommend, or 1, meaning that they do not recommend a student getting a student loan. Once again, we have numbers, however, these numbers are representing different groups. So this is a categorical variable. How did we determine the variable type for each column of data? To determine the variable type of each column of data, we needed to use a combination of understanding the title of the column, and then we can confirm the variable type by looking at some of the data in the actual column. You are now ready to analyze the types of data in the data set for problem number two.